Hi everyone, this is Miss Sophia over at the Regents Boys and Girls Club. I am going to be doing a little project with you guys. Um, I love at Regents to make Play-Doh and slime. So today I'm going to make a new recipe of Play-Doh. It's fairly simple. You'll only need your parents' help to help boil about a cup of water. Other than that, you should be able to do everything on your own. But reminder, please make sure that you have your parents' permission to be using these things. So here's what we're going to need. Mixing bowls, measuring. You're going to need also a measuring cup because you're going to need to measure one cup of water in your flour. You're going to use food coloring. I used a spoon so that I can mix the food coloring. Flour. Salt. You're going to use this thing called cream of tartar. Um, it's supposed to be good um, to make the Play-Doh stay soft. And then also oil. Um, and then I boiled some water. Um, you can make it on a stove top, but I have a tea kettle. Um, it's safer. So I would just suggest using one of those if you have it. So the first step that we have is we're going to use one of our mixing bowls and we're going to pour all of our dry products. So our salt, our flour, and our cream of tartar. Okay. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to start by measuring one cup of flour. Okay. So this is going to be messy. So just bear with me. I'm going to put the measuring cup in here just in case it spills everywhere. I think that's about a cup. Yep, we have one cup. You're going to pour that in here. You're going to use two teaspoons. So two teaspoons is going to be one of these and it says one teaspoon so it's going to be the smaller one you're going to have a whole bunch there's one tablespoon you want the one that is smaller but also says one and you're going to do one of your cream of tartar okay the recipe says for two so and then you do half a cup of salt so we're going to use our thing again and we're going to pour it until half and pour it in there. And I'm going to use my spoon and you're going to mix everything together. So now that we did our dry ingredients, we're going to put that to the side. And we're now going to mix our water, our oil, and our food coloring together. We're going to do one cup of water. So my water, I've already boiled it. Remember, this water is going to be really hot, so make sure that you're following directions. And then you're going to do one tablespoon of cooking oil or olive oil. So that's that one big one again. I've already pre-measured it. Pour it in there. And then you're going to add your food coloring. So whatever color you want. I have a like a pastel food color. I've got pink, green, blue, and I think that's white. We're going to do a blue one. And we're just going to pour it in there. So now I'm going to mix everything around. My water is like a light blue. Light blue is my favorite color, so I'm just going to keep it that way. I might add a little more because I think it's going to be too light for the um, flower. And it's only going to give the flower a little bit of color. Okay, now that I've mixed everything together, our next step is we are going to be putting our flour into our water. Oil is supposed to make your Play-Doh soft. Um, and what you need to do is just keep mixing it. It's going to take some time. And it's going to be trial and error. So my Play-Doh isn't very blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more food coloring to it. could also be the food coloring that I have. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more flour because it's a little sticky. I'm just going to add some more flour. And you want to make sure it's not too hot, okay, to put your hands in. So I made sure that it wasn't too hot. And we're just going to keep kneading it in the bowl with all the flour. Yep. So we're learning together. 
this is what I love to do at Regents. Many kids and I have learned by trial and error, and that's what we're going to be learning too is, was this recipe successful, was it not? And it may not look the prettiest, and that's okay, but it's still going to be Play-Doh, so it's something that you can make at home and that you can play with. It can help you with addition, you can make little balls, you can use it for whatever you need. So I realize I don't like the new recipe that I tried, but that's okay, we'll learn. I had to add a lot more flour to make it not sticky and stick to my hands, but this is our final product. And now what you can do is you can put it in a container similar to this and keep it in there to keep it going. Um, if you start to feel like your Play-Doh is gonna get a little dry, add a little bit of oil to it and it should make it um, soft again. Okay guys, I hope you guys are going to try this experiment at home, or if you guys have any other recipes of how you guys make Play-Doh at home, please let us know. Bye.